Hey there, you found the Joy Holiday Channel. Cupids, candy, hearts, and flowers. Store windows papered over with cute pink, red, and white decorations. These are often the first things that leap to mind when people think of Valentine's Day. So, would it surprise you to find out that the day of love we celebrate each February has a dark, mysterious, and even violent history? It's true. It all starts with the name. Centuries ago, there was a real Saint Valentine, whose feast day is traditionally celebrated on February 14th in the Roman Catholic, Anglican, and Lutheran churches. In fact, it seems there were two or three different saints with that name who all died a martyr's death around the 3rd century. Over the years, legends sprang up about saintly deeds they did. And in one of these stories, a Christian bishop named Valentine defied the Roman emperor and secretly married couples to keep the husbands from going to war. It's a good reason, as any, to link the name of St. Valentine with a day that celebrates love. But of course, there's more. In mid-February, the ancient Romans used to cheer the coming of spring with a rowdy fertility festival called Lupercalia. Young men and women would play matchmaking lotteries and overindulge in worldly pleasures. In the 5th century, a Catholic pope named Gelasius I tried mixing Lupercalia with Valentine's Day in hopes that the festival would turn into a more spiritual experience. The party people only got a little more dignified. But from then on, the idea of joyful matchmaking and the name of St. Valentine would always be attached to a mid-February celebration of love. The Valentine's Day we celebrate in the United States started across the Atlantic in the United Kingdom. Valentine references show up in the writings of Shakespeare and Chaucer. And the earliest Valentine message we know of is a flowery 15th century love letter from Charles, the Duke of Orleans, to his beloved wife while he was a prisoner of war in the Tower of London. The first Valentine greetings were mostly handwritten notes, which people started to call Valentines, and small gifts. In the 19th century, cheaper postal rates and the invention of the postage stamp made Valentine greetings affordable for everyone, and the tradition took off. From then on, it didn't take long for mass-produced greeting cards to catch on, making it easier than ever and a lot less embarrassing to send an anonymous message to a secret crush. The British chocolate company Cadbury introduced box Valentine candy in the 1800s and many other manufacturers began to find ways to profit from the growing market for love-themed gifts and treats. In modern times, Valentine's Day is the second biggest card buying holiday after Christmas. Millions of Valentine cards are exchanged every year, and with classroom card exchanges in schools, some say the estimate goes as high as a billion. Obviously, the idea of romantic love between couples is at the heart of Valentine's Day celebrations, but the day can be a much more inclusive experience. Here are just a few of the ways that people make Valentine's Day a happy day, no matter what may be happening in their love life. Extending greetings of love to friends and family members to let them know they're valued. Hosting Singles Awareness Day gatherings for the unattached people in their lives. Volunteering time with the elderly or disadvantaged in their communities. Sending Valentine gifts and cards to military people and first responders who can't be home. Donating time or resources to groups that promote safe and healthy relationships. Personalized gifts for friends and loved ones that promote self-care and self-awareness. When it comes to gift ideas, think beyond the traditional candy and gifts or a romantic dinner out. Start early and collect clippings and tokens of your time together you can arrange in a piece of personalized art. Every time your Valentine sees it, you'll be reminding them how special they are to you. Instead of an expensive meal, consider spending the same amount of money on an experience your Valentine has always wanted to try. You'll be making memories together that will last a lifetime. No matter what love looks like in your world, Keeping an open mind and an open heart can help you create a Valentine's Day celebration that's meaningful and fulfilling. Just for you, 
or for a rich mix of people you care about in your own home or thousands of miles away. That's the story on Valentine's Day. We're all about joy, happiness, and holidays.